So let's go straight to the front page of the Herald Sun. This was an absolute disgraceful performance today by the Victorian Health Minister. And, of course, she must resign. Uh, taking the macacos, I love it. What a great headline. Disgraceful health minister shuns medical chief's advice to avoid parliament, then ignores key questions on virus, bung virus bungles. Health minister Jenny Makarkos has been labelled a shameful disgrace and is facing calls to resign after fronting up to parliament against the advice of Victoria's chief health officer. A smug Ms Makarkos then refused to answer questions about the government's response to coronavirus and the bungled hotel quarantine program that sparked the state's second wave. The Australian Medical Association slammed a group of about 10 MPs who ignored advice not to attend Parliament. Now, Lisa, the health minister in any state government is one of the senior cabinet ministers. These are, you know, number three, four, five. This mob, they bat to three. It's Andrews, maybe a couple of senior cabinet ministers, and then they just drop away. Uh, and here's an example. She is way, way out of her depth, this woman. Gleeson, there is no other word for this than just a sickening performance. Now, we've all heard politicians over the years say they'll take a question on notice, but in this particular case, how dare she? She would have known, there is no way she would have walked into that parliament and not known that she would have been asked questions like the questions that she was given, the questions that she refused to answer on the spot, instead saying that she would give a written statement on Wednesday. It is not good enough. She has millions of Victorians locked down, people who have to close their businesses yet again. A um, you know, quarter of a million uh, Victorians who are now, as of tomorrow, stood down, don't know what their future is, locked down, no answers from the government, no answers from the health minister. Absolutely, just really strong calls for her to stand down. And I just think pathetic performance to say, I'll take the question on notice and I'll come back to you with a written statement. When you look at what the figures are, when you look at what's happening within those aged care facilities across Victoria, the whole country's health has now been put at risk because of the way Victoria has handled this. The buck stops with the Minister and the Premier. And in this case, the Minister hasn't given the answers that the people in her state deserve. Mm. Well, this has been a hallmark of the Andrews government, this smugness, this hubris, this arrogance, and now they're being exposed during the biggest health crisis the state has seen. If we go to the front of the Oz, the Oz have got a photograph there, and the headline is a beauty. Shut down Mark II, refused to answer COVID questions. Uh, Victoria's health minister has refused to answer a single question about her handling of the coronavirus pandemic at the first sitting of state parliament since Melbourne was plunged into its worst ever health and economic crisis. Jenny McCarkos responded to seven questions and their supplementaries during Tuesday's Legislative Council question time by saying she would provide a written answer on Wednesday. Now, these are questions, of course, put by the opposition health spokesman, uh, Georgia Crozier, and she said, you know, on what date in March or April were you advised that there were serious issues with the hotel security program? Do you accept full responsibility for the failures? Has the minister and the government done a breakdown of the health costs of a strategy of elimination? The Doherty Institute has uh, undertaken a genomic report into Victoria's COVID-19 positive cases. Will you release that report today? I mean, that's a question that many, many, many Victorians would want answers. And what is the current utilisation and spare capacity of ICU beds and ventilators? And how does that utilisation rate justify the recently announced strict lockdown measures? Now, we know that the Victorian government is modelling itself on the People's Republic of China, but this is out of control. Look, I, I think a point in case there is they're asking, what is the evidence for these new restrictions? And that's a very valid question, and it's a question that every Victorian would be asking. And look, across Australia, everybody wants to know, you know, what are the details? What has gone so wrong? All the way through this, we've seen the Premier pushing everything off to the inquiry and not giving any answers. And now uh, today we see the Health Minister standing up and also not providing any straight answers to questions that she clearly knows the answers to. A written statement, it doesn't cut it. And when you look at the figures, you've got 1,186 active cases in aged care facilities mm. alone. That's, that's, that's just terrifying. Oh. Take that back to the, to the human side of that. Let's, let's think about not just the people who are in those aged care facilities and have COVID, 
but the families, the families on the outside who are now having to deal with the stress and the trauma of not only what's happening to their loved one in the aged care facility, but now also what's happening to their life and their, their jobs, their businesses, mm. their lifestyle. Where are the answers?